guys, welcome back to Gardening Suburbia. I'm Amanda and today I'm gonna go ahead and try to weed my garden as fast as I can. Um, it is overcast here today and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be raining here any minute. Um, so I'm gonna get as much as I can done just because with the rain comes large growth in plants and the weeds are going to just get more outrageous and my garden beds are already filled with weeds right now, so <laughs> thinking about them getting all the nutrients and then just going wild is just going to be unmanageable. Um, especially this next week is going to be up in the 90s to maybe potentially the 100 degree weather. So let's go ahead and get this garden weeded. So you can actually see, now that the weeds are gone, that I actually have some little nasturtiums planted. Um, not quite sure on this guy, so I'm going to remove him. But little nasturtiums popping up, which is awesome. It's going to be some more food for the pollinators. Plus, the leaves are actually edible. Um, from what I've heard, they are a little spicy. Um, so we'll go ahead and try those this year too. Welcome back to Gardening Suburbia. Um, I had some dental work done today, so my mouth is a little swollen on this side. But today has been super hot and humid. Um, the temp was 80 degrees, but the real feel is up in the hundreds um, with high humidity. Um, right now it is getting ready to pour down. Um, yeah, here it comes. Um, we had some crazy wind there for a couple seconds. Um, and I'll go ahead and insert that footage here, but um, <laughs> we're getting ready for some severe thunderstorms that are supposed to go on until about 10, which is about three or four hours. Um, I went ahead and I brought in my tomatillos just because I had just replanted those. Um, I want to make sure that they are not going to break because um, that would suck. So I have them under my uh, deck here by my garage. Um, my dog loves sitting on this deck, uh, but hopefully I have no damage. I do have some pretty tall uh, sunflowers that are on the top of my green stalk. Hopefully they don't get uh, <laughs> broken by the winds, um, but as it is now, there's really not much I can do to prevent that from happening. Um, but we'll see, see how the storm pans out. it's the next day um, so after the storm blew through last night luckily we did not lose power um, and none of my plants suffered um, they're all still standing my sunflowers on top of my green stalk are still there and my tomatillos here in the background are still in one piece um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move those back to where they can get more sunshine so this branch right here is a lot lower than it usually is this is part of my mulberry tree um, this is the branch that was taken out by the storm we had. I set you right here. This branch used to come up pretty, pretty straight, not straight upright, but more, more so than it is now. Um, we actually take a closer look. I think the base of it actually had been rotting. Oh, 
Yeah, the base of the tree looks like it had been rotting. Um, so it needs removed. 